You may know gravity, also called gravitation, is a force that exists among all material objects in the universe. For any two objects or particles having non-zero mass, the force of gravity tends to attract them toward each other. Gravity operates on objects of all sizes, from subatomic particles to clusters of galaxies. It is not that simple to understand the nature of gravity. So let's discuss about gravity from beginning. What is gravity? In physics, gravity is a fundamental interaction which causes mutual attraction between all things with mass or energy. Gravity is, by far, the weakest of the four fundamental interactions, approximately 1,038 times weaker than the strong interaction, 1,036 times weaker than the electromagnetic force and 1,029 times weaker than the weak interaction. As a result, it has no significant influence at the level of subatomic particles. However, gravity is the most significant interaction between objects at the macroscopic scale and it determines the motion of planets, stars, galaxies, and even light. Gravity according to Newton For most applications, gravity is well approximated by Newton's law of universal gravitation, which describes gravity as a force causing any two bodies to be attracted toward each other with magnitude proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Where F is the force, Mon and M2 are the masses of the objects interacting, R is the distance between the centers of the masses and G is the gravitational constant. But Newtonian gravity fails when gravitational accelerations become potent enough to result in relativistic speeds. In general, it fails at velocities comparable to the speed of light. Gravity according to general relativity. Gravity is most accurately described by the general theory of relativity, proposed by Albert Einstein in 1915, which describes gravity not as a force, but as the curvature of spacetime, caused by the uneven distribution of mass, and causing masses to move along geodesic lines. The most extreme example of this curvature of spacetime is a black hole, from which nothing, not even light can escape, once past the black hole's event horizon. The Fundamental Problem with Gravity Three of the four fundamental forces of physics are described within the framework of quantum mechanics and quantum field theory. The current understanding of the fourth force, gravity, is based on Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity, which is formulated within the entirely different framework of classical physics. However, that description is incomplete. Describing the gravitational field of a black hole in the general theory of relativity leads physical quantities, such as the spacetime curvature, to diverge at the center of the black hole. This signals the breakdown of the general theory of relativity and the need for a theory that goes beyond general relativity into the quantum realm. At distances very close to the center of the black hole, closer than the Planck length, quantum fluctuations of spacetime are expected to play an important role. Quantum gravity Gravity with quantum mechanics Current models of particle physics imply that the earliest instance of gravity in the universe, possibly in the form of quantum gravity, supergravity or a gravitational singularity, along with ordinary space and time, developed during the Planck epoch up to 10 to the power minus 43 seconds after the birth of the universe, possibly from a primeval state, such as a false vacuum, quantum vacuum or virtual particle, known as gravitation in a currently unknown manner. Scientists are currently working to develop a theory of gravity, consistent with quantum mechanics, a quantum gravity theory, which would allow gravity to be united in a common mathematical framework, a theory of everything, with the other three fundamental interactions of physics. It is widely hoped that a theory of quantum gravity would allow us to understand problems of very high energy and very small dimensions of space, such as the behavior of black holes and the origin of the universe. Thanks for watching my video. Please like, comment and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel for more space videos.